Hello everyone, this is Gino Haunter here. Welcome back to another video. And what I have for you here today is the 2012 Spirit Halloween Headless Horseman. I got this guy off of eBay um, last week. He was roughly a little over retail price. I don't, I don't wanna give out the exact price, um, but it was really worth it to be honest because he's such a great prop. And if you saw my previous video, then you would have uh, seen that this guy is my number one favorite from 2012. He doesn't do anything, he's just a static, but I think he works better as a static because, I mean, there's not really much animation you could really do with him besides like the waist turning. And plus I think he looks a lot creepier, just standing here ominously holding his bloody up hatchet and jack-o'-lantern right there. Um, as you can see right there, it's his little neck stump. It's like a smooth plastic, it was weird, but yeah, I think have like his little neck collar, and then, well, I don't know what they really call these, I guess like his cloak he wears, then kind of drapes all the way down uh, past his boots, which are a foam-filled latex on both of them, of course. Uh, there's a lot of blood on him, which I really appreciate too, because I don't think we really get enough bloodied up props, especially something like this. The Headless Horseman, of course, he should have like blood on the hatchet, which I'm glad it does. And it's all over like his cloak. And right here you can see his original hang tag, which I don't think I'll ever take off him. I might ha I might hide it on Halloween so people don't really see like the tag, something like that. But yeah, Spirit Halloween Headless Horseman. And it's originally retailed for 150. See right here it says TX Headless Horseman. That is the company that made it. Tailux. Not their initials are TX. They were also the company who made um, the Hazmat Zombie animatronic from Spirit Halloween 2017, which was also a static. So, not so much of an animatronic, I take that back, it's a prop. But yeah, the Jack Lantern is like a hard plastic and has like a little small LED inside. And when I first received the package, the pumpkin was already on and like the light bulb inside it was like already kind of dying out from batteries. Um, it's cool though, because I thought it only lit up. It actually flickers too, kind of similar to the um, Halo popper right there when it's activated. So yeah, that was that's a really neat touch with him. If you move over to the back here, he has a hood for where, his, where he would, you know, put over his head where it once was. Nothing much here on the back. Uh, this hole was already came with it when I first received the prop, which is kind of a bummer, but at the same time, I think it kind of adds on to like the weathered up look that he has. Uh, and here, the hatchet itself, like I was mentioning, it's also a film filled latex. Same with the hands. Um, and like I said, the boots are. One flaw I have with it is that the fingers are not poseable at all so it can't so it doesn't look like he's actually like grasping onto the hatchet it's just kind of like floating and yes i did try to like pose his fingers but like i do not want to break this guy at all because he's a very rare piece and yeah i just kind of accept the fact that his, his hand is holding the hatchet like that and just looks a little off but i don't know he still looks awesome nonetheless um so yeah, like I said, he is a static prop, so he, he doesn't do anything uh, other than light up the jack lantern and just look creepy. And I might film a demo of it tonight with the jack lantern off, so you guys will be seeing that in the same video right after this. But yeah, yeah I think I'll cover basically everything. I can show the box for you guys here too. Spirit Halloween Headless Horseman, life-size, amazingly real looking prop, some assembly required pumpkin glows with LED light bulb and his box is actually pretty huge I did not expect it to be this big this is so it's the same thing on each side of the box and then the side image is just kind of like a full body photo of him excuse my finger getting in the way I hate when that happens when I'm filming but but yeah he's a great great piece love him a lot definitely the best 2012 prop but animatronic wise i think it would have to be popping goblin or the floating ghost girl but yeah all right i think i covered everything in this video i'm gonna be doing or i'm gonna be showing you what he looks like with the lights off and you can see a bit of his pumpkin glow even if the batteries are a bit low 
I don't have the exact bad news that he takes for the pumpkin, but I'll still show them nonetheless right now. So thank you guys for watching this video, and here you have his demo.